Hello and welcome to my workshop. My name is Ariel Hess and today I'm going to be talking to you about my installation piece. Now, what exactly is an installation piece? So it is a thought provoking piece of art that is 3D and is able to temporarily transform a room or a space. Now, why did I create this installation piece? So in our musical, we wanted to generate um, generate an atmosphere for our audience for Under the Sea because that is our theme. So I created seaweed be for my installation piece because I believe that seaweed is everywhere in the ocean and that's what I think of when I think of the ocean. So I use the mediums wood and paint um, for creating the seaweed. Now, as you can see, I have curved lines for all the seaweed, and that gives the illusion that the seaweed is moving compared to a straight line down here, which I had, I kept the uh, horizontal straight line, which gives it the sturdiness of the ocean floor. Now, as you can see, I have lots of different colors on my um, seaweed and there are lots of different hues of green. I also do have some natural tones of white that I mix together just to give it a little bit lighter, even lighter of a green. Um, and I thought that was important to do because the seaweed is down in the ocean and it's cool and calm, um, which you're gonna get pull from those colors. And as you can see, I also have the value. So I have different colors. So I have the darker and the lighter and they're just pulled right through on all the pieces of seaweed on the front and also the back of the seaweed just to give again the illusion of movement throughout from the top to the bottom. And then um, on this I also do want to touch on texture. Now, again, going back to the colors, you're going to be able to visually see the texture. I wanted it to feel like it was smooth. So that's where I also used a fan brush to work through my seaweed and on the edges more so, um, pull in those lighter colors and the light white over here, the lighter white up on the top and in different spots actually, again, gives out the illusion that this is moving seaweed and that it's soft. I also really did sand this wood down um, because it's, wood on its own is rough. It has a rough texture, so I just wanted to sand the edges so that if you do, if anyone does touch it, it also is smooth to the touch, which is seaweed as well. And then let's talk about the space. So I actually, I spaced out my seaweed enough between them all to give it a nice look as if there's more than there actually is. So if I was to clump these all together, they're all pretty thin, but now that they're spread out and spaced out in this specific way, um, so I added the smaller pieces into the middle of the two by four, and then the larger ones on the ends, and that makes it look like it is, um, there is, sorry, there is more than what there actually is. And since it's going to be on stage, that's the look I was going for. Now, as you can see from this point of this small seaweed and this one, there's a horizon line there. And so that's where your eyes are going to kind of meet down. So I just wanted it to, like, I wanted the audience to look here because I, I feel like then it just flows so nicely. And so that's, yeah. So that's why I did like the shading more on the tops on these lighter, um, smaller pieces as well. Now the volume here is, there's a lot that is occupied in between all the way up. So it doesn't look like it, but it's a good chunk of volume, which again is great to have on stage for the stage presence. 
Now the form I have in here, form is all around us. And so we have so many different types of natural forms. So I have triangles at the very top. And then as you can see in some of the base parts, there are rectangles throughout. And you can also see there's circular, um, the circular motion. And that would be your circle. But that is just all I wanted to talk on and touch on for my installation piece. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you enjoy the show. <laughs> Take care. Bye.